All right, welcome back to my Let's Play of Alpha Centauri here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. If you remember last episode, oh, pardon me, um, right at the end of it, my episode was dragging on a little bit. Oh, not dragging, but it was coming too long. So we cut it right when we made, completed the longevity vaccine at New Rome. And so this, in the little cut scene, it showed a video clip of on TV of, or whatever passes for TV in the, 23rd century, I guess. This is the 23rd century. Anyways, and Morgan was talking that he says that I plan to live forever, of course, but barring that, I'd settle for a couple thousand years. Even 500 would be pretty nice. So, yeah, the longevity vaccine. I guess it makes <laughs> it vaccinates you against not living a long time? I, I don't know. Probably alters your DNA such that you don't get, you know, cell death as soon. So this if you have planned, okay, so two less drones at every base if your society's economics are planned. One less drone at every base if your economics are simple or green. Economy increased by 50% at this base for free market econ economics, for ec the free market economies. So we have a simple economy at the moment. But if we have simple or green, we'll have one less drone at every base. If we made planned economy economics we have two less and if we go to free market we'll have 50 percent more economy at this base but you know so one less drone at every base right now that's pretty good all right so what should we do now i think we should build a should we build a colony pod or a sea fusion Colony pod, I don't know. Huh. I'll have to think about that for a second. Let's actually build let's build a what's where are they? Trained yeah, chaos tactical. We need some aircraft over going over towards the university to help fight production complete. Bethany builds biology lab. Okie dokie. Here's the Jean Jack factory. Oh, okay, never mind. It's just a gives you minerals, but more drones. Don't really need more drones. That doesn't sound very helpful, but I'm sure there's ways in which that is helpful. Ooh, what should we? Let's build a hab complex. They need one. Maximum population reached. Yep, yep. Come on, they're they're building it. Let's see. Oh wow, 26 turns. How about hurrying? This? Request confirmation. No, never mind. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, well, let's have you go this way. And you need to. Hmm. What should we do with you? Have you just go over here? Alright, cool. Well. I think we need to send these, all these formers over here to help these new towns. Okay. Let's plant another forest. Let's plant another forest. Clear fungus. Chill. Chill. All right, let's have, let's see, Commando Chaos Invaders. Let's have our other Commando Chaos Invaders. We just seized the Planetary Archives. Zero energy credits diverted. They don't have much money. But we got oh ho ho. Okay, this is what we're studying right now. Darn it! Should we have? Should we just take it? I think we should. Let's get orbital space flight, <laughs> which allows us to return to space. Conventional payloads, planet buster, air missiles, sky hydroponics labs, plus one nutrients to all bases. That's pretty good. Let's I take it. I have often been asked, 
If we have trouble between the stars, why can we not launch the simplest of orbital probes? These fools fail to understand the difficulty of finding the appropriate materials on this planet, of developing adequate power supplies, and creating the infrastructure necessary to support such an effort. In short, we have struggled under the limitations of a colonial society on a virgin planet, until now. Colonel Corazon Santiago, Planet, a survivalist guide. All right, so that's pretty cool. So that's a really, I think, insightful thing right here. Yeah, so we've already traveled. I, I said at the beginning of this Let's Play, I think it was five light years to Alpha Centauri. I think it's actually like four or four and a half, but still, if we've traveled that far through space, how can we can't launch a simple probe? But I think she answers that question really well. I mean, <laughs> building that infrastructure up so you can launch that is quite a process. And they have been struggling under the limitations of a colonial society on a virgin planet until now. And they didn't even get the, you know, if you remember, they didn't land everything in the best possible way. They're rather all fragmented and what have you. So this allows us to build the sky hydroponics labs, which gives us more resources, I mean, more nutrients. We can study advanced space flight. We can build all these missiles and cruise missiles and planet busters. Uh-oh. And we can propose salvaging the Unity's fusion core. The early colonists certainly bring the technical understanding of space flight with them, but they lack the materials and infrastructure necessary to construct spacecraft. Eventually, implementation of doctrine air power furnishes the infrastructure, while advanced pre-sentient algorithms provide the tools for mankind's return to orbital spaceflight. All right, let's see, the missiles. A conventional missile, it's basically a cruise missile. Like a Tommy Hawk. A fusion planet buster. That is no good. That is a nuclear missile, that's not cool. Sister Miriam captures the planetary archives to achieve the first believing conquest. Prokhor Zakharov, Provost Zakharov of the university had already achieved the first conquest, you know, oh, literally 200 years earlier. So this is the 24th century. Oh, wow. Look at this. Our ziggurat is getting huge. So many, so many achievements. All right, let's change this to, we'll build plasma sentinels, or let's actually, yeah, let's build plasma garrisons. They're a little bit better. Cool. And we have uh, a network node, a naval yard, and a perimeter defense due to our projects that we've done. Cool. All right, there's another town right there. Hmm, we will chill here for now. All right, let's just go down here. You chill. I think we need to pull that plane to that ship back. Oh, I think we just lost dang nation. A hive missile just blew up our ship. Okay, oh darn it. The more oh well our ally. The Morganites got the ascetic virtues. So in this one, Chairman Shinji Young says, Learn to overcome the crass demands of flesh and bone, for they warp the matrix through which we perceive the world. Extend your awareness outward beyond the body self of body to embrace the self of group and the self of humanity the goals of the group and the greater race are transcendent and to embrace them to embrace them is to achieve enlightenment so basically it's you know you know overlooking your uh, being able to look past the demands of your own personal desires your fleshy meaty desires your emotional desires your emotions all those things that limit you to the concrete and you know, the individual and extending yourself outwards towards um, group and humanity and universe, cosmos, whatever, and that you become enlightened. But production complete. 
All right, we got a bio enhancement center here. Let's see. Actually, let's see. Cancel. Hmm. What happens if we put one more here? Does that give us a drone? No, it doesn't. One, one. Ah, two, two, one. That's good right there. Let us build what? Darn it, that kind of annoyed me that we lost our ship there. Let's put a triple A planet buster. I mean, triple A chaos destroyer workshop. Anti air. Hmm. Let's put air superiority on it as well. This is this is totally good against <laughs> aircraft. All right. Uh oh, which one is this? I don't remember which one I just built. Is that it? No. Is this it? No. Where is it? I thought I had it. Clean Chaos Destroyer. Sam Chaos Cruiser. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Let's build it. New orders needed. Darn it, we didn't get it. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. I wonder what it would have done. Wait, cancel. Change. Oh well, I don't remember what it does. Let's see, what should we build? How about the hybrid forest? Yep, we didn't get it. And disband. Actually, yes. Oh, that's right, they were helping keep peace. Darn it, oh well, yours. Oh, yeah. Terraform complete. Oh wait, I didn't need to build a farm there. There's no town here. Nah, let's build a forest. Yes. Ding blast it. Oh, ding bust it. Chill. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. Chaos Invaders. Chill. Chill. University has lost new Arzamas to the Hive. Oh, the Hive is really gaining ground. I think Production. the Hive is going to overtake the University. the hive gain too much complete. of an advantage. Alright, good. Fungicidal fusion sea formers. <laughs> Fungicidal fusion sea formers. Um, Saints Peter and Paul. Why don't we... What should we build? Hmm. Biology lab. Yeah. Clear fungus. Oh, darn it. What are you doing here? Nothing. All right, cool. Build an offshore platform. Oh. 
Well then, how about we all come this way? Actually, you need to upgrade. Action. Upgrade. Oof. This is an anti-aircraft. We'll do this. Yes, indeed. You. Upgrade. Whew. Same thing. Yep. It's expensive, but I think it's worth not losing these just because they weren't upgraded. Yep. We have our communications back. Let's see what Lady Deidre's up to. All right, she's oh she's after power now, <laughs> like us. All right, what's up, yo? The pious, it's ever a pleasure. Retroviral engineering shield will trade us for advanced ecological engineering. You have a darn deal. You are the children of a dead planet, Earth Deidre, and this death we do not comprehend. We shall take you in, but may we ask this question? Will we too catch the planet death disease? Lady Deidre Sky, Conversations with Planet. Conversations with Planet. So, yep, yeah, advanced ecological engineering. This allows us to research Centauri Psi, allows us to build the superformer. And it gives us plus one mineral bonuses for all mining platforms. Formers can execute the construct soil enricher. We can propose to melt the polar caps, which will raise the sea levels. Um, that sounds terrible. But anyways, so apparently, again, like I said, I think Lady Deidre is the canon main character or her prot um, leader, protagonist, whatever. Anyways, you're the children of a dead planet, Earth Deidre. In this death, we do not understand. We should take you in, but must we to catch the planet death disease? So, you know, I guess this planet's afraid that it's going to get killed by us, just like apparently, you know, the Earth was, or they believe it was. Who knows? The discovery of fusion power opened up staggering possibilities in a number of endeavors, including the field of environmental economics based on the cumulative experience from thousands of construction projects undertaken since planet fall. Advanced ecological engineering marks a new milestone in man's ability to manipulate his environment. All right, cool. What is this proposing? Super fusion sea formers. <laughs> can super form, terraform rate is doubled and it can clear fungus at double speed. That's pretty darn good. Super fusion formers, regular. Shall we upgrade all our obsolete fungicidal sea formers to new super fusion formers? Ooh, no, we cannot afford that. All fungicidal fusion form. No, we can't afford that either. Mel well met. I'm uploading on my map. All right, cool. Okay, Zakharov wants to salvage the Unity Fusion Core. Huh. They all need money, apparently. I'm going to vote with my block. I actually don't mind, but we'll say no. Since my allies say no. And all my enemies say yes. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he's up to. He's seething. He has vendetta. He's violent. Hello again, you're devout followers. Yes, yes. Yeah, quit insulting my allies. Um, do your worst, homie. Only with deepest bitterness do I accept this defeat and offer my pledge of blood truce. Hmm. 
Should I let him? Oh, he has no money. <laughs> but you know what? We're not totally violent. Should we? But you know what? All right. Blood truce. Your so-called faction is little more than a summer camp for extremists and malcontents. Be forewarned, I've heard of your rantings about power, and I shall not stand by idly while you build a private army to conquer this planet. Yeah, you insult my allies too much, and you're going to um, be in trouble. 